Shalom everyone! So for today on my blog, we're gonna talk about the historical facts you never knew between the Philippines and Israel. Philippines and Israel shared a deep relationship as allied countries as early as the 1930s. The Philippines was one of the few countries which opens its doors to the refugees when the anti-Semitic leader Adolf Hitler put millions of Jews in the concentration camps in 1930s. We went to the Philippines because it was the only place that gave us a visa. We were the last train out of Berlin. They, they closed the border. We were able to go to the Philippines and escape that. At that time, we were really free. President Manuel Alcazón implemented an open-door policy which transformed Manila into a safe haven for refugees as it granted visas to the Jews escaping from the Nazi regime. I'm still alive, and uh, many of my relatives are dead, mm -hmm. friends that I tell you the story, if it were not for the humanity, political courage, and generosity of the open-door policy of Philippine President Quezon. The Philippines has welcomed over 1,200 Jewish refugees, also known as the Manilainers, who fled during the Holocaust. Out of 33 countries who voted for the establishment of the State of Israel, the Philippines was the only Asian country who voted for the resolution. Those who are in favor will say yes, those who are against will say no. And the abstainers always they, they know what to say. We will start it now. Afghanistan, no. Argentina, no. Soviet Union, yes. United Abstain. <coughs> the United States. The approval of the resolution facilitated the full diplomatic ties between Israel and Philippines. The first embassies were opened in Tel Aviv and in Manila in 1962. On February 26, 1958, Israel and Philippines signed a Treaty of Friendship. To this day, Filipinos continue to reap the fruits of extending help toward the Jews. Israel granted a visa-free entry for 90 days to the Filipino tourists since 1969. Amazing! The former ambassador of Israel to the Philippines, Ambassador Efin Matetya, said, In recognition of your opening the gates of the Philippines to the Jewish people, we open the gates of Israel to the Philippines. The number of Filipino care workers working in Israel in 1980s reached a high of 100,000 or about 7% of Israeli workforce. In 2007, Sister Grace Galindez Gupana, a Filipino businesswoman and a great supporter of Israel, financed the installation of a giant Israeli plug for the celebrations of the 50 years of friendship of Israel and Philippines.
It is considered the largest flag world record. Wow. World's largest flag being unfurled in Israel. It measures a record 2,165 feet long and 330 feet wide. Can you believe that? It weighs more than five tons. Here's a twist for you. The record-breaking Israeli flag was produced by an evangelical Christian from the Philippines. In 2009, the Open Doors Monument was erected in the Holocaust Memorial Park in Rishon Lezion. which I visited, by the way. In October 2012, Vice President Judge Omar Binay conducted a five-day trip to Israel where he met the former President Shimon Peres in Jerusalem. In January 2014, the armed forces of the Philippines agreed to purchase the 28 Israeli armored vehicles. Relations between the two countries further solidified when President Rodrigo Duterte made the first official visit to Israel on September 2, 2018. The visit marked the first time a Philippine sitting president has ever set foot in the Holy Land. Amazing. Wow! How are you? Good to see you. What a pleasure. I'm honored. Welcome. Welcome. Please come in. President Duterte, welcome to Israel. Welcome to Jerusalem. Uh, we uh, mark that uh, this is the first visit by our President of the Philippines in the history of Israel. It is deeply appreciated. We remember the exceptional role of the Philippines that received Jewish refugees during the Holocaust. We remember that the Philippines was the only Asian country that voted for the establishment of the State of Israel in the UN resolution in 1947. Mr. President, we remember our friends. And that friendship has blossomed over the years, and especially over the last few years. In 2018, the Philippine Navy purchased Spike ER missiles from Rafael Advanced Defense System. These are the first surface-to-surface -surface missiles mounted on the Philippine Navy. The Philippines is known to use a variety of Israeli weapons such as Israeli firearms like Galil and Tar-21. The Israel Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines leads about 14 bilateral agreements between the two countries. The Philippine Fair is an annual event held in Haifa. The fair features both selling Filipino cultures and foods, as well as cultural program showcasing Philippine cultures and dances. The Philippine Embassy in Israel estimates that there are approximately 31,000 Filipinos legally living and working in Israel. So that's it guys! Those are the historical facts you never knew between Israel and the Philippines. And do not forget to like and subscribe and please click the notification bell so you will be updated with all my new vlogs. See you again on my next vlog.